Well, hi everybody. And today we're here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And we're here to hike, well, the Avon Cabin. We're gonna take Jake's Creek here up to the Avon Cabin. Of course, we got Smoky Mountain Hiker with us today. So, hello get, everyone. You guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're going to visit Mena Evans cabin today. Uh, we're going to take Jake's Creek Trail all the way to her cabin. Now her cabin is a hidden gem here in the Smokies. It technically is hard to find. Most people can't find it. In fact, I get a lot of messages from people saying, hey, I can't find it, you know. Um, and so uh, this cabin is where Mena Avent painted a lot of her famous paintings. And her paintings can be found in the Smithsonian. So there is the so-called ghost town of Elkmont. This is actually the daisy town proportion of Elkmont. And over here, as you can see, there's, I noticed there's some remnants of like rose bushes and some non-native plants because at one time, this whole area all the way up Jake's Creek used to have cabins. But today, well, we're gonna take Jake's Creek. Well, there's a Smoky Mountain hiker there. You can see he's got his, uh, his gimbal and all that. And yes, yeah, so this hike is gonna be, it's an absolute beautiful hike. Uh, we're actually, I think we're on an old uh, train um, bed. I think I were on a train bed. Yeah. There's an old train bed here. And um, so anyways, this hike, will be just over a mile one way to the Avent Cabin. You see there's an old fence running along the road here. And off in the distance you can still see the chimneys of the old homes. Now they came back a few years back and took down a lot of these old cabins I guess they weren't really homes, they were more cabins. Uh, due to they were not structurally sound anymore, and the National Park was afraid that with all the visitors it has, it was going to uh, hurt somebody. Well, here's an old uh, front steps to one of these uh, cabins that once sat here. Now it's gone. The river is just up ahead there. There's one of the chimneys. Well, as you can tell by the trail here, we're starting to see signs of fall with all the leaves on the ground. Also, I'm getting faint smells of, well, fall, the leaves in the air. We're starting to smell the leaves. You smell a little bit of the leaves oh, starting good. to change. Yeah, a little bit of uh, fall in the air. Beautiful field of wildflowers here. Well, here is one of the last standing cabins in this area. 
this is the way all these cabins used to look like around here. This one here has kind of got of a little uh, creepiness to it, I guess you would be the right word for it. Something you would probably see out of one of them videos. But, um, yeah. Of course, there's a, more chimneys off in the distance there. Uh, we're here about, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, all you can do is hear the crickets um, finishing their last chirps from a long night for them. And uh, old Smoky Mountain hiker back there. See, he's got a smile on his face. Because hiking the Smokies <laughs> makes him smile. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful hike. Uh, rushing water over to our right. And um, pretty much it's cool now. But today we're supposed to be up in the upper 90s. So, uh, yeah. And this trail here, kind of a little bit cement, will eventually turn to gravel and then get down to an actual trail. Beautiful Jake's Creek here, cascading down the side of the mountain. The cool breeze coming off this makes for a refreshing stop. Okay, so eventually you'll come to this fork in the road here. You'll have one that kind of goes down, and then you'll have one that goes up. You'll actually want to stay on Jake's Creek Trail and take the one going up. And there's definitely a little elevation in this trail going up. Well, as you're coming up the trail here, you'll notice there's a trail heading back the other way, but going uphill. And you'll come to this sign called Cucumber Gap Trail, going to Little River Trail, about 2.3 miles. Uh, it's a beautiful trail for wildflower hiking. But we're gonna continue on Jake's Creek Trail, which is straight through. And we'll get to another sign just down here. Well, all of a sudden, you'll come to a fork in the road. You got the lower path and the higher path. We're still going to continue to go higher. And we're still going to follow Jake's Creek Trail. And from this point on, I think we're maybe just over a half mile. Oh, I got that beer in the tree, but it's not. All right, so we heard a snap up there. Usually you'll hear a bear before you see it. Mm -hmm. And we stopped to assess the situation to make sure we maybe can get a visual. And if we don't, we slowly leave the, the area, don't we? <laughs> Well, you'll see this little trail going off to the right. And you can notice that there's no like man-made steps. Most people make the mistake in taking this trail to try to get to the cabin. And they get down to the bottom and realize it's technically a maze of no of dead ends. And you might come across a couple of these on your way up. But you want to continue on further up.
Well, we come across some a chestnut tree. Really pretty chestnuts. You can roast these on an open fire, right? <laughs> and they're all over the ground here. Beautiful. Well, there's the Smoky Mountain Hiker this morning. And we finally made it to the trailhead. Now, I'm going to warn you. There is a lot of paths that go off to the right on this trail. And a lot of folks get lost on those. You'll come across a few of those first. But what you want to look for to get to the Avent Cabin is actually wooden steps. There's like, there's like five wooden steps there. This is the path you want to take. I know the other ones look like the trail, but this is the one you want to take. I come down these these trail these steps here. You can tell that this is a a man-made step here. The other ones are like rock steps. Yeah. So this is the trail you want to take here. And it's not very wide. Because this trail is really not traveled by anybody but local hikers or what have you. Well, there's a lot of cobwebs on this trail this morning, which is telling me there hasn't been anybody through here tonight. As you can see, the, the trail is literally just a small, tiny little path here. Definitely overgrown. So, well, not too far a hike from the trail up above, and you'll come to this footbridge here. And you definitely know you're on the right path when you see this footbridge. Now, some folks tell me that this is the longest footbridge here in the Smokies. Um, I, I don't know. I think I've went across longer, but uh, it's definitely long. And uh, it's a little bit on the jumpity, rickety side. The cool thing about this bridge is beautiful beautiful river Jake's Creek I believe running down through here um, I could just sit on this bridge all day and just watch this water And right after that bridge, it starts. The trail starts to get wet. Technically, you're going to walk up a stream here, so you might want to pre be prepared for that. But nothing major. If it just rains, it can get pretty um, wet through here. But today, it's not bad. And a short hike up this hill will lead you to probably one of the most hidden gems here in the National Park, the Anvent Cabin. As you can see, the National Park does label it, but they don't put it on any of their publications or any of their maps. And today we're going to explore that gem up there. Well, we made it to the Anvent Cabin, right? Yeah. Uh, I know Smoky Mountain Hiker, he's getting excited to get in there and see what's going on, right? Yeah. Um, yes, and it's warm one today. I'm sweating. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, let's get this done before it gets too hot, right? Pie tin. I don't know what that is in there. 
hanging up. But it looked like someone was staring out at us. Now, weird things happen at this cabin. A lot of folks believe that a lot of strange happenings happen here. But anyways, um, one of the things you guys got to do when you come up here is make sure you close all the doors behind you and stuff. Uh, we're going to try to keep this cabin as pristine as it can be. Um, it is uh, almost in perfect condition. And definitely respect the cabin, right? Yes. Guys, you have to respect this cabin. We're going to remove this rock here. And we'll put the rock back when we're done. And then we're going to head in. Who's going first? Let Loon go. Well, we're inside the cabin. And as you can see, there's a little bit of um, rakes and yard cleaning material and you can see there's an upstairs to here a lot of old photos on the internet guys you guys can take a look at what this cabin looked like um, some people actually have left little things here but um yeah um, Beautiful cabin. I know it's dark in here, but this is where Mena used to uh, look out the window here and paint her her paintings. Now, supposedly Mena's son put this window in for her so she could look out. So, just imagine all the all the time she looked out this window painting she got her inspiration from right here and since the last time we were here um since the last time we were here people have come up and brought a little decorations for the fall for the fall here this one here you can't see up and it says welcome y'all um now there's a couple uh a bed frames here but you can't camp here I know we get a lot of people saying hey can we camp here you can't um, you can only camp in uh, shelters here in a national park or campgrounds so Dawn what do you think about the Mena Avon cabin it's beautiful as always yes Mena has a very beautiful, beautiful cabin and if you look at her old um some of the old photos this stairway has been here all through the years um, so, and it's, I'm not going to go up there, but there's actually a, like a desk up there. There's some stuff up there, but I know it's dark in here and we're going to, we're going to go over here. So Don, beautiful little cabin, right? Yeah. You know, all these beautiful windows and doors that sh she added to the cabin really, made a cabin just that much better so we're out on the front porch and you'll notice this door here held by a big rock yet again when you leave make sure you put this rock back up on the door This here is her actual kitchen. You can see she has a little stove here, um, what have you. Um, here's an old uh, little, uh, say an old frying pan or something, an old thing. But this is the cool thing about the oven cabin is that you can come up here and you can actually put. Um, you know, when you visit and everything else, we can look at one I noticed here was kind of interesting. It says, where was that? Right here. Gabe 
He was looking for snakes and had fun. Okay, Gabe, so you t <laughs> you were looking for snakes and you had fun. You guys see that? Old old Gabe was looking <laughs> for snakes and he was having fun. Gabe, he was having fun. Yeah, I guess he was having fun. But, uh, yeah, you guys can definitely, you know, write, like, where you come from and what have you. That's cool. You'll see people from all over that comes here. And, um... And then Ombi, Ombi Cabin, because the original owners of the cabin was Ombi's. And they sold it to Mena. But Mena's the famous um, tenant. This is the cool thing about it here. Now you can see that the mice have been eaten away at the paper here. But this here will pretty much tell. There's Mena Avent there. And pretty much tells the story about... Main Avenue. Now you can go on the internet and catch a lot of uh, these exact photos and everything that these are talking about here. But of course, Mena was a painter, and she was a water watercolor type painter. And a lot of these, a lot of her artwork is actually in this book here starting to deteriorate but um it actually has this is on the national register of historic places and um this here will talk about like the property size and and and, and talks about you know it was a recreational cultural artist studio domestic single dwelling um very interesting so definitely spend a little time going through all this here um then I know towards the back here, there's more like letters of Mena. It's kind of hard to film and, and thumb th through some of this stuff. But um, yes, this is definitely a little treasure trove of information. Um, what do you think? I think it's a nice little cabin. Yeah. You know, none of that graffiti or nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. And like it says right here, you know, Mena Advent Studio, OMB Cabin, was built in 1850 and has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Interior. Smoky Mountain Hiker is actually signing the book. And uh, this is always a... Really cool sign. I just might come up here and laugh about it. It says, important. Mice, snakes, please leave door closed, especially at night. <laughs> Keep door closed at all times. But, uh, yeah, so we signed the books. We got to look at a little bit of Mena's life. Of course, this is an original Ombi cabin. And I was actually reading that there was an Ombi that came up here in her like grandmother was was um born here or something so definitely take a look at that book especially the guest book a lot of cool stories and stuff but um yet again this is a beautiful cabin guys i can't stress enough to definitely take care of this treasure that we have here and make sure you use Make sure that you um, go and make sure all doors are been locked and all the rocks have been placed on the doors. But um, there's Dawn. Beautiful Ambit cabin. Now, Dawn, you were saying you suggest to bring a lunch, right? Yes. Maybe even a small chair or something, right? Or, and just sit out here on the porch and, and have lunch, right? Right. Yeah. Look at that smile, guys. He He's like, yeah. I found another little hidden gem here in the Smokies. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we had a great time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful hike. It definitely would be a nice place just to come up here and sit in the chair. Yes. And, and, it's, and it's, not, it's not that hard of a hike, is it? No. I mean, this is like an easy hike up here. It's just kind of hidden. People get lost if they don't take the right path. So, guys, what did you guys think about the Mena Avent Cabin here? It's beautiful, like always. Yes. Yeah, beautiful cabin. 
And like I said, guys, you got to respect the cabin. This cabin is in pristine shape. It's one of the last here in the Smokies that is in this shape. Um, also, it's an OMB cabin. I know a lot of folks said in one of my videos I done here, like, hey, do you understand there's a history before Mena? And yes, this is an OMB cabin. And there's a lot of history before Mena. Uh, but guys, uh, beautiful, beautiful all the way around. Easy hike, um, just hard to find. <laughs> you do have to go off trail. There's always precautions when you go off trail here at a national park. Um, so guys, other than that, this is gonna do it for this vlog, guys. If you like this vlog, Give it a thumbs up. Also, Smoky Mountain Hiker. I'm going to put a description, a, a link in the description below. Yeah, a link in the description below for Smoky Mountain Hiker. He's got a YouTube channel, and guess what? They don't call him the Smoky Mountain Hiker for nothing, okay? So he's out here hiking the Smokies. But anyways, and until next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.